Hi, I'm Ted Pedromo. In this video for Linked Accelerator, we're going to learn about LinkedIn Pulse. Pulse was an application that used to run on iPad and iPhone, where you can create custom news feeds and pull in content from all over the internet. Recently, LinkedIn purchased Pulse, and they've incorporated it into LinkedIn now, so you can create custom news feeds that are pulled right into your LinkedIn account. Once you configure Pulse, you'll start to see items like this in your news feed and your timeline. So I subscribe to different content and it'll give me like headlines and breaking news. It scrolls right across my LinkedIn timeline throughout the day. To access Pulse, go to the interest tab on your menu and go to Pulse. Here's the home page for Pulse, and you see it's broken down into five categories, your news, influencer posts, all influencers, all channels, and all publishers. So once you customize your new news feeds, all that content will be pulled right into your news and also onto your LinkedIn timeline. And LinkedIn will also suggest other news and thought leaders that you may want to follow. Like here, John Byrne has created this Kellogg MBI lands 350, 375k salary in finance. They've suggested that I read that or I subscribe to John's posts based on other things I've read and other people I'm connected to in LinkedIn. See, I'm the other example here in the New York Times, I'm already subscribed to them, so that's just a normal news item that scrolls across my timeline. So influencer posts. In LinkedIn invited a lot of famous people, authors, and business people to become influencers, and they expanded that program now. So there's there's lots of different people that are considered influencers that publish content on a regular basis. The program's now closed, unfortunately, so you can't become an influencer, but hopefully they'll open that program up because, as usual, most of the people that are accepted as influencers don't post very frequently. So... I'm sure they'll open up at some point, and I highly recommend trying to become an influencer so you can get your content seen by thousands of people. So you can sort the influencer posts by top posts today, top posts this week, top posts all time, and recent posts. So what I like to do is find posts that are very active, that have lots of views, lots of comments, and lots of likes because when you participate in those conversations, the conversation's already got a lot of momentum, so you're jumping into a, a great conversation, and what you comment on will be seen by thousands of people. So at least I start with top posts for today, see what's hot today, and then I'll go in and look at what's hot this week, and then I'll show you how top posts all time, how much leverage you can get by t using this, and how you can really keep a conversation going for long periods of time. And then also it shows you recent posts that maybe haven't picked up momentum yet. So here in the yellow, you see that this Kellogg MBA post has 53,000 people have viewed it already today. 222 people have liked it. 109 people have commented on it. The Understanding Conflict has 11,000 people viewed it today. 282 have liked it and 73 have commented on it so these are the hottest things right this moment on LinkedIn and if I want to follow John Byrne I just click on the plus follow button there or if I want to follow Jim I just click on that so if I like what I'm reading about them I can easily subscribe to it and then a lot of times some influencers have a lot of traction on every post they do so you want to follow those people and jump into those conversations as soon as possible to leverage them as much as you can. So here's top post this week. Matthew Bishop, he's had 580,000 people read about the selfie. And 2.1 thousand people, so 2,100 people have liked it. 524 comments on just that post about taking selfies of yourself and other ways you can do it, the unselfie for this year. And then Ilya Posen, he has a very popular 426,000 people have read this 22 crazy perps you should ask your boss for. 2,200 likes and over 1,000 comments. So if you jump into those conversations, 
many times they're still very active after a week, even a month, some even a year. So I've had comments I posted two years ago. They're still getting activity in LinkedIn. So here are top posts all time. Dave Kirpin from the New York Times, bestseller, wrote 11 simple concepts to become a better leader. 2.3 million people have viewed this since January, and now we're in December. So in 12 months, 2.3 million people have viewed it. 24,000 likes, 7,000 comments. And Greg McNown's article here, number one career mistake capable people make. 1.9 people have viewed this, 12,000 likes, almost 5,000 comments. So those are the kind of conversations you want to jump into if they're still active. So let's look into Dave's a little bit. Dave has only posted 85 times. He has over 250,000 followers, which is amazing. So he's getting a lot of traction from just a few posts. As we're going to dig deeper into his stats. It was posted January 28th of 2013. Almost 2.4 million people have viewed it. 24,000 likes, 7,000 comments. Tweeted 8,600 times. Liked on Facebook 28,000 times. Google Plus 3,500 times it's been posted there. And shared 112,000 times on LinkedIn. So this post has gotten a lot of traction. So if we dig deeper into the statistics, I'm looking at, you can, you can sort it by newest, oldest, and most popular comments. So what I did, here's the most popular comments. And it's been liked 168 times, replied to 12 times. So that's pretty, pretty good traction for just a short little sentence. You really didn't say much, very pr provocative. Another very important quality of a great leader is her, his, her ability to create more leaders. And that got 168 likes. So that's the most popular comment. So all the people that viewed this article are seeing this as the most popular comment. So he's getting a lot of traction from a very simple statement that couldn't have taken him more than a minute or two to read that post and comment on it. The other thing at the top, you can see all 24,000 people who liked it. It actually shows you their profiles. So if you click on those pictures, you can learn more about each person and you'll get a whole list of all the people that have liked it. You can also do the same with the comments. It gives great detail about who's commenting and how you can connect with those people. So here, these are people that really, I looked at the newest comments. These are just from a couple days ago. They're not saying anything to get people to reply or like it. Thank you. For, I'll try hard tomorrow. I mean, who's going to like that or reply to it? You want to say something that's really adds value to the conversation and makes people want to comment on it, like it, or reply to your comment. So here, this conversation is still going on almost a year later, but nobody's really taking advantage of that by saying anything really provocative or compelling that people are going to like it or reply to it. So here when you scroll over the pictures, this is that it pops up and shows you you can view their profile or you can connect directly with these people if you like them. The thing here is you can't write a customized message if you just click connect. So what I like to do is view their profile, learn more about them first, and then reach out and connect with them. So here when I looked at the whole list of people that commented, it gives you the option to connect with them. If you're already connected with them, it'll say you can send them a message. We have the same options here. You can view since she's a third level connection, Abra O, oh, I don't see her full name because I don't have the full premium account that allows me to see that. So I can view her profile and I can connect with her. So that's kind of a backdoor secret here. Usually a third level person, you can't just reach out and connect directly with them. You have to be introduced to them or send them an email. So this way, it's kind of a secret backdoor where you can just click on connect and connect with this person who's a third level connection. So. It's a great way to connect with those third levels without wasting an in-mail or having to get introduced by somebody who's a second level. So here's all influencers. So you can scroll through hundreds, I'm not sure how many, even how many thousand influencers there are, but you can just click on it. If you want to follow them, click on the yellow button. Or as you see, 
with Jack Welch. I'm already following him because of the green check mark. Arianna Huffington, if I wanted to follow her, I just click on the plus sign or Barack Obama. So it's very easy to follow these influencers and then your con their content will scroll right into your feed. And most people, they don't come, they don't post very often, which is unfortunate because I'd love to hear more about some of these people or from these people. But there are a lot of people that are very active that really put a lot of great content out there. So let's scroll through the influencers, find out who you like, try them. If you don't, you can unfollow them or just keep following people to overwhelmed with content. Then you can start unfollowing. But I've never been overwhelmed with too much content from these really good people because this is great information that's easy to share with your network, easy to comment on, and easy to get a lot of traction from. They've also broken up the content into different channels. So if you're an accountant and want to follow accounting influencers, you just follow that channel. Best advice by default, that's checked. And I don't get much information from that, so I haven't unchecked it. It's not overwhelming. Business travel, I don't remember subscribing to that. I think it was by default. So you can pick and choose the channels you want to follow if you're not interested. Or the content's not right for you, you can just easily unfollow it too. And here's all the publishers. So the influencer people, the channels are topics, and the publishers are publications. So I follow a lot of different publications, and I, I subscribe to a lot of these magazines and publications already, but this way it puts the, inf the latest information right into my LinkedIn feed. So I can see breaking news or current topics. So I can be some one of the first to comment on a lot of these things that are posted by these publishers. So it's really an easy way for you to be on top of what's going on in your industry. And when you when you take quick action for breaking news, it shows people that you're in touch with what's going on in your industry and it makes you, by perception, a thought leader in your industry. So that's it, a brief overview of LinkedIn Pulse. For more information, visit linkedaccelerator.com. Thank you very much.